Hey, Scorpio. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Um, I was going to do Taurus just now. And I was like, mm -mm, let's do Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Um, I don't know when I'm releasing this. Could be your regular Tuesdays. Or maybe it's Sunday. Let's see. All right, Big U. What you got, baby? What you want Scorpio to know? Mm -hmm. I always wait for my angels to let me know when to put them down. So if y'all feel like I'm shuffling, just fast forward. It's okay. I won't be offended. I won't know either. All right. That better not be a bad card because it fell all the way on the floor. Well, it is a bad card. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out. Defeated, depressed, loneliness. Are you feeling alone, Scorpio? Why are my cards flip-flop? Okay. She got to get her card life in order. Okay. What's the matter, Scorpio? Why are you feeling sad? You feeling left out? You don't feel connected with your intuition? Okay. It's all right. Two of Pentacles. Change is coming. Uh, ooh, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Alpha and Omega, hot diggity schmiggity. Uh, Ace and, and Ten. You can't really see those because of this light. Let me see. Yeah, you really can't see those. All right, I'll hold them up. Knight of Pentacles and Mama. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is related to your money or a job, right? Because you got the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. And with the, you see what I got to deal with? It's all the time, all the time with these cards. Page of Pentacles, that's a new job, right? This is good, right? Uh, angels are saying you feel out of balance. You feel out of alignment. Some of you guys are depressed. Five of Pentacles feeling left out. You feel like something's missing. A lot of you guys don't feel like yourselves either is what I'm hearing. It's okay. No, no, no. This is a part of the 3D life. It's okay. We go through ups and downs. So whatever you're feeling, Scorpio, it's okay. Like, don't don't rush through it, right? Own it, sit in it, learn from whatever you need to learn, connect with you, the universe however you need to connect. And then when it's done, the universe will move you on to the next phase. It's okay. Don't be careful about trying to rush through, you know, depression and, and negative times. They're there for education. Five of Swords, you feel feeling like giving up. Okay, that makes sense, right? Five of Pentacles and a Five of Swords. Angels are saying some of you guys are tired of dealing with crappy-ass financial situation that you're in. Could be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Uh, my spiritual practitioners. And shout out to everybody who joined me. Y'all freaking rule. Um, Queen of Pentacles, uh, the High Priestess is... Uh, tarot mm. queen of swords your emotions are blocking your intuition right because queen of swords is psychic too queen of swords for me sometimes is Scorpio that's a Libra card right and queen of swords is intelligent she's so freaking smart look at these damn raggedy ass swords keep coming up stop thank you Hi, Scorpio. Yeah, as soon as I say stop, the justice and the death card. Scorpio's like, uh-uh, I'm done. Yeah, you're waiting for some sort of stability in your finances. Um, angels are also saying, too, there's a message here for those of you who are burnt out. So my workaholic Scorpios, you're looking for some sort of reprieve so you can catch your breath. Okay. King of Pentacles. Hell yeah. Page of Wands, raggedy ass. All right, so we got two messengers here, two messages. I have a queen here, a king here, high priestess and empress and justice. Okay, so this is a big message. 
for you, Scorpio. Okay, fives here, twos here, and majors or court cards. Okay. Oh, oh, see a simple message. It just came to me. You're waiting for something. You're waiting on a message. Okay. Y'all notice how all of the cards are on the table and then in the outcome position are the two messengers, the pages. You gonna go through all kinds of shit before you get this message. Another way I can say that too, with the twos here, two of pentacles and the two of swords. I feel like this message that you're waiting on is delayed. Because it's delayed, you're starting to lose hope. And just like the, the beautiful universe, I was going to say something else, Cletus, Jesus. <laughs> but just like this old universe, when your ass is ready to give up, that's when your miracle shows up. Okay. Now, here's a very important message for those of you who are in your clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, clairsentient, all of the clairs you're into your spiritual gifts, you're going to turn on or turn against your, your intuition, your angels. You're, you're going to want to cut off your intuition. Now here's why your intuition told you this message is coming, right? But what's going to happen is there's going to be some sort of delay. I feel by maybe two weeks. Okay. And as part of that two weeks, you're going to give the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry to say it that way, but that's really how I'm going to say it. You're going to be like, nah, they don't want me. They not got hot. Yeah, the interview went well and everything was good, but I guess they chose somebody else, right? That's what that five of pentacles is. You're feeling like, uh, uh I don't want to say unwanted. I have to say unwanted guys, but I don't like it because it feels triggering. It feels triggering. But angels are saying, yeah, you're going to feel like overlooked. Okay, that's a nicer, shitty word. Okay. And you're going to be like, well, bump that. Forget them too. And you know what? Intuition, screw you because you said this was going to happen. And the universe is like, oh, but wait, young grasshopper Scorpio. <laughs> right? Um... I feel like you're being tested, Scorpio. Universe is testing your faith, right? Um, yeah, your intuition is spot the fuck on until you turn it on yourself, meaning you read for yourself, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, you guys, yeah, the, the Empress with the Queen of Swords, it's almost like the, an angel came down, left you a note like, okay, Scorpio, this is going to happen Tuesday at 2 o'clock, you know, Eastern, right? Tuesday, two o'clock came, four o'clock came, six o'clock came, eight o'clock, and shit happened. Scorpio's like, you know what, um, angel? I, I knew that it wasn't going to happen for me. I could read for everybody else, but when I could want to read for myself, stuff don't happen. <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off because that's what I feel is going on here. It's, it's almost like whether it's intuitive or whether it's intellectually, right? Using your conscious mind, you feel that something is coming towards you. And Scorpio, you're spot the fuck on. You're right, right? The problem is it don't come in your time. <laughs> and I say that all ghetto, <laughs> but it doesn't come in your time. And when it doesn't, <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing my ass off because angels just suck their teeth. Can you imagine what it sounds like for an angel to be like, <laughs> but they're saying that's your attitude. Like you suck your teeth. Like, see what I'm saying? I knew this shit wasn't going to, I can read for, I can read for Jesus himself. But when I go to read for my ass, shit don't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scorpio, but that's what I'm getting here. And then when you're ready, you're ready to check out. You're like in denial. Like, see what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen. This whatever, whatever. You keep going back and forth like, yo, hmm. Universe is like, yeah, don't block it out. Remain flexible, okay? So whatever this is, Scorpio, don't don't close those floodgates, okay? Don't, don't do the, you know, close sesame, okay? 
Um, because when you're ready to give up, that's when your miracle happens. It always happens that way. That is the law of opposites. And I always say that is essential for law of attraction is to use the law of opposites. There's a card in the universe has your back. The key to prayer is not to need what I, not to want what I need, right? So in other words, when you launch something to the universe, let it go like you don't even need it. Like, mm. um, sidebar two, I was watching a 50 cent interview with the Breakfast Club, 105.1, Charlemagne the God and all of them. And 50 Cent was talking about pitching his TV shows and movies and things like that. And he was basically like, when you go into the room of all of the movie execs and the, the you know, production houses or whatever, and you're pitching your idea, the key to it is to act like you don't need it. Okay. So Scorpio, whatever it is that you're waiting on, energetically, the universe is trying to flip you around, right? To the point where... You're ready to give up and walk away like bump this shit. I don't need this shit. And as soon as you're like, I don't need this shit. The universe is like, bam. <laughs> okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, them and they. That's the key to manifestation one-on-one in 12 minutes or less. Okay. So, um, yeah, you were ready to give up. And then all of a sudden your happiness um, appears especially in this 3d realm, we have what many other planets and many other, I would say, in inter pure energy beings don't experience. And that is emotions, right? So for some reason, as part of the universal process of manifestation, we as humans now attach emotions to it. And unfortunately, negative emotions slow down and, and sometimes will cancel out the process, positive emotions allow it to flow, right? But emotions are dense. They connect, they nest, they hold on to that energy. They bring that energy down. That's why positive emotion, uh, positive manifestations is to suppress the emotions and allow the energy to just flow. Okay. But, and what you did here was you cut off your emotions. And when you cut off your emotions, the energy was able to flow. Justice was done and your emotions were reignited again. Okay. Deep ass man. I told y'all this was going to be a big message. So Scorpio, transforming your emotions, learning how to use your emotions to make you happier in life. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. You're waiting on again, some sort of proof. Okay, Angel said you're waiting on several things. Okay, some of you guys are waiting on proof that it's working. Let me confirm it's working. Others of you are waiting on signs and synchronicities from the universe. And I feel with these, especially the page of wands, you're about to receive some sort of aha moment, some sort of exciting jolting message that says, oh shit, it's working. Okay. We ended the reading with the two messengers and saying, whatever process you're going through, your messages are coming through. Proof is coming through realization. It will go from like the magician as above, so below you've set it out as above it's coming. So below that's a shitty way to say that, but it is what it is. So whatever stability process income coming in, <laughs> Every time I say that, I think about Joe Torrey and Poetic Justice. I got income coming in. I'm a fine fellow, right? Um, it's on its way, right? Not only that, but here's double, ve here's double Venus. Here's double Venus. Venus, I always say, is the planet of everything valuable to humans. Money, love, health, prosperity, family, joy, happiness, everything, Okay. So you got double Venus here. Taurus and Libra is ruled by Venus and here's Taurus. The Empress is the, is the, uh, the card of growth, expansion, life giving. You are going to receive financial abundance. Woohoo. Yay. Okay. And so it's almost like you think that the universe forgot your number. You're like, this universe play too much, right? 
Universe is like, Scorpio, we ain't forget shit, okay? We was working on what sort of increase was coming towards you. We was we was working on the number of zeros um, in the, the, the abundance and prosperity that was headed your way. See what I'm saying? So you think the universe forgot. The universe is like, we just trying to figure out how much to give you. <laughs> Who are we? <laughs> Sorry. I love this message for you. Page of Pentacles. It's the, the offer is coming in and, and the excitement. It's going to be an exciting fucking offer. Sorry, I'm getting excited. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It's steady. It's long term and it's big. <laughs> it's big. Yeah, you had to wait. I know, right? Just think about something. When we create whole entire humans, them shits are not insta, insta humans. They're not instant humans. You got to wait a whole 10 months to get a whole entire human. Okay. And I posted something on my community page that says, listen, when you plant a seed, it doesn't just grow automatically. There comes a time where you have to wait and be patient, patient. And again, I'm hearing tooth sucking in my ear. So Scorpio, your abundance is on your way. Your wish is on its way. I know, I know it's not happening in your own time and that's okay. <laughs> Angels are like this shit again, right? Hum humans all the time. What they think this is the Insta universe? Like they could just pop us in a microwave and come out like a steak. Like <laughs> they gotta wait. Alex, you let them know they gotta wait. <laughs> just to take time. <laughs> I don't know what angel this is, but I love them. They're kind of androgynous. But <laughs> I love that. And let them know that it takes time. <laughs> There's an important message here, especially with the high priestess and the queen of swords. Don't cut off your intuition. Don't cut off your... In don't feel like you made a mistake. Don't feel like you fucked up. Don't feel like shit don't work out for you, Scorpio. Y'all know y'all famous for that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to call you out just a little bit love you but y'all know y'all universe don't like me out of all the things i do for everybody why can't the universe just do this one thing for scorpio baby it's huge okay you mm. <laughs> sorry it's octave all right universe has my back these are my uh fill in ghetto cards for my moonology what you got to say to scorpio <laughs> i know i know Scorpio be like, uh-huh, see what I'm saying? I'm going back to my dark side. Bump this light side shit. I can't deal with this. They play too much. I know, I know. Um, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Yeah, <laughs> Scorpio don't like being uncomfortable, right? Especially when your intuition is involved because your intuition is spot on. That's the queen of swords, cut master flex. You're discerning. Is spot the fuck on, Scorpio. You know what the hell you doing? For those again, for those of you again who are in your gift, y'all know what the hell you doing? But the universe like they play too much. It like every now and then like play tricks on you. And here's the thing: as as freaking psychic as I am, universe don't show me everything, right? So I stand with you right here. We we don't see it coming. We don't. And and at the end of the day, I love that. Because the universe is continuously reminding me, I'm still the universe, bitch. Right? <laughs> right? And I say that as in, yeah, you're cool. <laughs> you're gifted. But uh, the universe got some tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> I'm sorry. And again, for those of you who get hung up on the language, you're very uh, 3D. You're very conscious minded. Spirit, spirituality does not know language. It only knows vibration. So as you see, I'm laughing, giggling, joking. My vibration is pretty freaking high, regardless of the language I'm using. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Mm -hmm. This is for my conscious minded, my subconscious minded Scorpios. <laughs> Sorry. It's like the universe is playing a trick on your, your intuition, Scorpio. Scorpio don't like that shit. Scorpio, universe, you play too much. All right, four fell on the floor, so I'm gonna read them all. The moment I realize, uh, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. That, mm. <laughs> sorry, um, that was the card on the bottom. These are the ones that fell on the floor. 
when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teach my primary teach primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Yeah. So once you realize the universe is is still king, <laughs> you're like, okay, let me let me get back in my lane. <laughs> Sorry. I will always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. Look at these messages that are coming across like Scorpio, you good, but uh, the universe is always going to be better. <laughs> I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Yeah, some of you guys got really scared. You're really scared that whatever this is, is not going to manifest. It's not going to happen. Baby, the universe is, is still working out the numbers. And it's going to be big. You hear me? King of Pentacles? Shit. All right, I'm going. The more energy and attention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So Scorpio, more faith, less fear. More faith, less fear. Your manifestation is coming. All right, babies, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Um, does it, do we care? We don't care about the signs is what I'm getting. Um... If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.